beloved friend. I'm Reverend Kira, and excited as we move through this week to look back over the past year. We're heading into our annual meeting this Sunday, and as we consider our community and where we are and what we've done and, and where we've come through as a community, it really is a powerful time to recognize love at the core. Love at the core of everything that we are, everything that we do, our experience of spirit and that Christ light and that divine essence is love and how we play that out with one another um, and the things that we've done and why we do what we do is because of the love and the deep, profound connection. It is so important to experience um, the beauty and magnificence of having a tribe. You know, we all want that kind of connection where we feel those that are like-minded, open-hearted together, where we can be fully ourselves and to feel that we will be loved and accepted and known for the truth of who we are. This was a birthday week for me and a big one. Uh, yep, turned 65, hard to believe. I'm on Medicare now. Who would have thought, right? <laughs> and yet, what I know, it was uh, a profound uh, expression of love that came pouring in. And I realized all the love that is in my world, in my life, and throughout my life. And as I have reflected on all of this and this time of our annual meeting and our incredible community, I know that we're all longing to feel that sense of community again, that deep, profound connection. It's like we know that love is at the core of who and what we are. We know that we are Christ beings and that we are interconnected, but we also crave those experiences. And we are coming through this time, this almost a year now of our, of our pandemic response, and we are starting to be called back together as the numbers decrease and we feel less at risk through vaccines in various ways. We recognize that who we are longing for that recognition and, and remembrance and experience of our connections and our deep love, the love that is at the core. And it's a core that recognizes that we see more and more and more love by how we're being with one another. And I think we've done that well this, uh, this year. I think we've done an amazing job with that. And yet at the same time, I know that there are many of us that feel unsure about coming back and reconnecting and how do we do that? When do we do that? What feels right? We're in discussion about when do we increase the numbers that we allow. So far, we've not filled all the seats every Sunday of our of our limited space seating. So we certainly want every one of you to feel welcome and to know that you know you can sign up online and, uh, and, and register, or if you have trouble with that, give one of us a phone call or a text, let us know. We want you to feel welcome and to, it to be easy to come back and be with us. We know that how much our community is, is the love that is at the core of our lives, the love for our divine and the sharing of those experiences of praise together and the ways we've done it have, have been a blessing, and yet we still long for those places where we commune in one another's presence. And so what I know is that we are going to explore even deeper the various gifts that happen when we connect heart to heart, soul to soul, when we look at the ways that we are being called now to move forward in remembering and experiencing together and reuniting in ways that feel safe for each of us because each of us have different criteria for that. And yet we want to um, just invite the power of this time to return to our, our, uh, our roots and our core where we seed love in our way of being with each other. What I know is there is a divine blessing that occurs that pours itself forth through each time we share love with each other. 
when we look into one another's eyes and into each other's hearts, when we sing together, when we um, open to the experience of reaching out, whether it's been through phone calls, on Zooms, and all the ways, and yet to know that we will always be one with each other and we are ready to experience even more of that. I want to acknowledge our incredible community. I love you all so much and the love that is at the core of everything we do. And we're gonna bring forth even more ways of expressing that. We look forward to sharing more of that with you this Sunday to have our celebration service. Love is at our, our core. Love is our core. And also then to join our annual meeting at 1 p.m. on Zoom for our members or to watch it live stream on our Unity community Facebook page where it will be live streamed for those that are participants in our community but not members. We wanted to make sure you still have a way to be connected and linked up um, heart and soul with us. Um, we are always um, expressing and experiencing the love of that Christ consciousness you are and holding you in that light and lifting you through prayers and in any kind of support we can give in this time where if there are needs that you have please let us know we want you to know we're here we are your unity community we are your family your loved ones your like-minded like-hearted uh, tribe and i look forward to being with you all this sunday and celebrating another year of magnificence through the midst of many circumstances and situations, and yet the magnificence of the love that radiates from our hearts, it is profound and it is always here, radiating forth its love to you. Come join us this Sunday at Unity Bay Area, Houston, 1911 Highway 3 South in League City, Texas. And if you haven't gotten a hold of one of us and you still want to show up, show up. We want to see you. We want to be with you. We want to celebrate you. You are the reason. You are the reason. The Christ consciousness of you is the reason. And your presence on this planet and in our unity family and in our community and in our lives. We are grateful for each and every one of you. If you can't show up in person, come see us on live stream. We will still be on Facebook live stream and YouTube. And I know we're putting things out in various ways, LinkedIn and others. So we are, we would love to have you join us for our Sunday celebration service at 1030 AM and our annual meeting at 1 PM. Uh, we love you. We know who you are. We get, we get you. We connect with you. We feel you and we celebrate you. God bless you, friends. Thank you for being the love at the core of this ministry. See you Sunday.